Ukraine comedian Zelensky wins presidency in landslide. P.S. Ukraine a comedian with no political experience win a landslide victory in Ukraine's presidential election, drawing congratulations from global leaders while dealing a stunning rebuke to his country's political establishment. Volodymyr Zelensky, whose only previous political role was playing the president in a TV show, crowned incumbent Petro Poroshenko by taking 73.2% of the vote, according to nearly complete official results released early Monday. Poroshenko, garnered just 24.4%, losing to the 41-year-old comedian and actor across the country, with 85% of ballots counted after Sunday's election. It was an extraordinary outcome to a campaign that started as a joke but struck a chord with voters frustrated by social injustice, corruption and a war with Russian backed separatists from eastern Ukraine that has claimed some 13,000 lives. The star of the TV, series Servant of the People will now take the helm of the country of 45 million people beset by challenges and having run on the basis of political platforms. I will never let you down. Zelensky told jubilant supporters at his campaign headquarters where he was showered with glittering confetti. I can't tell all post-Soviet countries. Look at us. Everything is possible. He declared. The remark appeared, aimed at neighboring Russia, where Vladimir Putin has been in power for 20 years and many follow the Ukrainian election with keen interest. Congratulations poured in from Europe and beyond with French President Emmanuel Macron and Poulain van der congratulating the Ukrainian president-elect by phone. You will now truly be the servant of the people, said British Foreign Minister Jeremy Hunt on Twitter, pledging London's support. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg and President of the European Council Donald Tusk said they look forward to continuing support and cooperation. We congratulate President-elect Volodymyr Zelensky, the United States Embassy in Ukraine said on Twitter. Democracy test, on the streets of the capital Kiev, some Ukrainians expressed started optimism about their new leader. Ukraine has passed the democracy test, said Mykola, a 66-year-old pensioner. I hope it will be the people and not the elite who will live better. Exit polls show Zelensky took 87% of the vote in eastern Ukraine and defeated Poroshenko even in the West, where the incumbent traditionally enjoyed strong support. Poroshenko, 53, said the results were clear and enough reason to call my opponent and congratulate him. I will leave office but I want to firmly stress I will not quit politics, Poroshenko said in a speech at his campaign headquarters, where supporters clapped cried and chanted thank you to the outgoing leader. He also appealed to the international community to help safeguard Ukraine's pro-Western course. We realized that the Kremlin might be enjoying the election results, he said. Zelensky said he wanted to reduce Western broker peace talks that have so far failed to end the conflict. Moscow says the vote results showed Ukrainians want to change. Tired of life from Ukrainian-speaking regions in the west of the country to Russian-speaking territories in the war-torn east, many voters said they feared uncertainty but yearned for change. We're tired of all the life, said Marta Semenyu, 26, who passed her ballot for Zelensky in Kiev. I think it just cannot get any worse and I hope he'll live up to his promises, said Larissa, an 18. Tyson year old student from the government-held eastern port city of Mariupol. Zelensky supporters say only a fresh state can clean up Ukraine's politics and end the separatist conflict. But, others doubt the Shaman will be able to take on the country's influential oligarchs, negotiate with the likes of German Chancellor Angela Merkel and stand up to Putin. People have long that, Victoria Olenutska, a 39, Tyson year old Poroshenko supporter, Set in PS. Cinema and reality are two different things. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.